good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Heyo, and welcome today. Today you're joined by me and uh, yeah, happy holidays. Happy post-Christmas stream. Uh, this is, I had a pre-stream and this is a post-Christmas stream. So after Christmas, um, after you celebrated and everything like that, um, you yeah, you probably have celebrated Christmas. I'm not too sure, you know, I'm pretty sure most time zones have passed Christmas or it's just been Christmas. So, you know, um, how it goes. This is uh, part two of my painting. Um, if you, you know, if you watch this or if you don't watch this, that's fine. This is, um, so usually each week I have a painting going on. Um, so this week I'm painting this Christmas Yoda and I've just finished it like, um, I think it was like this Monday or Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it was this Monday night. Yeah, it was this Monday night. Um, so I didn't have Tuesday stream, unfortunately, this week due to like the Christmas stuff and things like that. Um, I didn't really uh, announce it, but yeah, I, I said it on the last Tuesday stream that I probably won't be having a Tuesday stream um, because of the Christmas period. Um, and it's always good to yeah to enjoy Christmas, have family, um, friends around, to see what other people are doing for Christmas, and um, just have that time off and things like that. You know, um, there's always you know people around the world having time off. There's people working at Christmas, um, which is unfortunate, but it it does happen. Um, regardless of what day they work and things like that, um, but yeah, you know it's it's that time of year you feel jolly and um you can sit down relax and, and spend time with family um usually for me you know christmas uh, is usually with my family usually um i've had had a few christmases where it wasn't um but i did you know have some sort of Christmas thing, whether it was before or after Christmas, um, a New Year's kind of get together or something like that. There was some sort of time during that period where you know we would gather and um, enjoy presents and just um, chatting and finding out what everyone's doing and things like that. Um, but yeah, usually it's Christmas, and usually for my Christmas, you know, my traditional kind of family thing. Um, <coughs> It's it's always been, you know, a lunch meal. Um, we just have lunch and then, well, yeah, we get up, have um, like easy breakfast and open presents and stuff, get lunch prepared and then things like that. I'd help out in the kitchen if I had to and do all the preparing for the lunch and stuff like that. And then, you know, you'd have lunch and then kind of relax out, maybe do some things, um, uh, you know, give gifts to people, um, and then, you know, like, fun and games and things, and pudding, and then fun games again, and then by about two or three, you know, everyone kind of goes, two or three o'clock, everyone kind of goes home and, um, just end up, like, sleeping the day or something like that, you know, that's kind of, uh, here in New Zealand, um, is what I've heard, that's kind of the New Zealand way, you know, we just have lunch and then relax a day and then, uh, you know, have leftovers for tea and that's kind of what Christmas is here, which is interesting because a lot of people, like, have Christmas lunch, or Christmas breakfast, Christmas tea, uh, all, all these jam-packed things, um, which is fine. Um, yeah, it's all good, you know, everyone has their own tradition. I think most Americans like um, more of a tea thing um, at the end of the day, cook all day and then, you know, have, enjoy the tea and the gifts at night um, or, you know, open the presents in the morning um, or have their Christmas Eve like celebrations and things and then like opening gifts in the morning, have gifts all day, uh, <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, everyone has like different traditions, which is, it's cool to hear about like traditional and also so people don't celebrate Christmas um, which you know it's very interesting um, but yeah <coughs> you know um, so I am yeah you see me painting baby Yoda this year um, 
I think two years ago when um, the last Jedi, two or three years ago, um, I I did the porg on a llama. It was just a drawing. It wasn't a full painting like this. Last year I did um, Henry the Hedgehog Christmas theme uh, because I was doing Henry the Hedgehog just starting out the book. So I was like, oh, I want to do something Christmassy. I still do like I'll do another scene with Henry the Hedgehog that way. I'm kind of not. Um, I'm still doing Henry the Hedgehog, but I'm not. Um, I'm not kind of going outside things, I guess, outside of what I was doing at the moment. Um, so I still felt like I was doing something. I was like drawing him in a different scene. Um, so it was helpful for my learning and things like that. Um, yeah, and um, quite often, you know, I'd use. I've got the reference beside me, like all the time. So I have the reference beside me. Um, sometimes I have it on my second screen, um, in a bigger, wider um, window, so that I can see something more clearly. Like, um, for instance, at this time, I'd be probably I would have on my other screen a big you know a big window of Yoda's face or if I was rendering or trying to fix up the um, the stockings there I would do that you know and fix up the stockings um, and try to get that underway and things like that so I'd you know zoom into those little details and things um, that would help me to do this illustration um, but yeah um, it's interesting like seeing the first kind of take on a drawing or a painting and then seeing the final result and comparing them as well because um, sometimes you know you can kind of lose some if you paint it a lot you can lose a little bit of like what you started out with um, that kind of feeling sometimes um, so yeah looking back at what you did uh, can help to be like now I want to fix it back a little bit more to where it was in that drawing um, But yeah, hopefully, you know, I feel like bringing it to color um, was Helpful, you know, <laughs> it was yeah, I felt I achieved it as far as I could um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've got uh, It could have obviously it could have been better um, but I've don't like I say I don't have like a million hours to work on each piece. I only have, like a certain time to work on this piece, um, like less about a week and a half or something or less than that. Um, and with that, I had other things to do and not a lot of painting time. Um, so you know, it was it was very um, limited time to do this. You know. But yeah, I, I got it done in the end, um, to a standard of some sort, you know, um, there are things I'd like to fix up, but um, unfortunately, that's the way it is, but I'm not too fussed about it, I mean, I'm happy with the way it is, it's just a painting to kind of spread my Merry Christmas joy to everyone and just make sure, you know, um, I'm painting something and to do this, um, and yeah, and I'm, I'm moving forward, I, I'm going to try to do this next year hopefully, do a Christmas painting again of some sort, depending on what I'm doing at the moment. Obviously this year I was, I was really taken by The Mandalorian, um, I haven't finished the series, so no spoilers. Um, but yeah, I, I was taken by The Mandalorian, so I was like, I really want to paint you know, this Mandalorian Baby Yoda character, um, so I brought this into the Christmas theme thing, and that's how I kind of got this, um, I was, you know, I was doodling around, and, um, you know, my partner kind of saw this idea, and, uh, she was like, do this one, so, um, I was, yeah, I was taken by, I guess the other one was too similar to something I did last year, this is a bit different to what I did last year for the Christmas theme, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, I think I had some doubts because, um, you know, starting off this piece, um, I had really struggles, and you can see that in the first part, 
the pre-Christmas um, video that I have, you can see kind of the struggles um, that I did kind of go through to get to this point. Um, so, you know, and that, and that comes with, like, good ideas. You know, you got to decide um, where to go and which idea to go with a lot of times. Um, as a creator, as an illustrator, you know, if you're coming out with ideas and things like that, you've got to decide which route to go to, whether you're going to take um, you know, this option or another painting option, whether you're going to paint um you know this as a 2d or a 3d painting or something like that or how you're gonna um execute it what kind of design you're going for and things like that um you know you gotta weigh up those things and you know there's gonna be challenges either either whether you decide oh this is an easy route or take or do this one because it's really easy to do blah 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 you probably end up finding that it, it was more difficult than the one um, you were like, oh, no, I don't want to do that because it's really challenging, I'm not at that level, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you find that, you know, it's opposite, you know, the ones that you think are really difficult um, become, like, really, really easy to do. Um, so, don't, you know, I mean, I've done it in the past, but, you know, if you guys have done it before, you know, don't avoid those things you feel that are difficult because... You know, it's going to be useful. Um, you may it may be challenging to get through, especially if you've got like a deadline or something. Um, but don't just avoid it because oh, I've never got time. It's really challenging, so therefore I can't do it. I can't do this. Uh, I do this solution because it's easy. It's what I can do in the time limit. Um, you know, really for this piece, I was I was really running out of time. Um, but I mean. I got it to a standard I'm happy with. Um, if it was for a client, obviously it it would have been um, torn apart a little bit more <laughs> than you know um, this. But yeah, with the time limit, um, unfortunately, you know that's the way it goes. You know. Um, but you know you can kind of um, uh, you can plan out uh, those things that take up time and then try and try and use as much time as you can to create things. Um, I definitely was using as much time as I could get my hands on for this. Um, but you know if I really was pushing it, really wanted something. Uh, way better I could have like done an all-nighter or something I don't know um but yeah you know well you know hopefully everyone here like have a had a good and safe Christmas and everything like that really um do appreciate you coming and checking out this as well um you know now you know Christmas is kind of over um it's back to kind of normal uh, things, you know. Um, yeah, back to where we are now. It's basically the end of this year. Um, so basically, you know, you just kind of finish this year. Um, get things done for the rest of the year. A um, couple more days to go, pretty much. Two or three days to go. Um, and then, well, three days, pretty much, I think, pretty sure it's like two or three days to go. Yeah, it goes to the 31st this month, yep, 31st. So, yeah, three days to go, that's pretty cool, um, for the end of this year. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people do kind of a New Year's resolution kind of a thing, well, not a lot of people, like some people don't do it, some people do, some people are really into it, some people are just like, oh, it's another year, and just continue as another day, another month, things like that, continue their life. Um, other people make big changes, like give up smoking, and um, some, I, you know, kind of have done things like that, where it was like, I'm gonna do this this year, and do that, blah, 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 you know. Um, 
and you know I've got a few plans for possibly what I'll do in the next year you know um I definitely do these kind of Christmas and then the New Year's streams that I've got going on that does help with that kind of thing looking at what I can do better each year and um, how I can be better as an illustrator and keep on moving on and get things done and get um, my projects into the, the light um, and things like that so I always you know those um, New Year's resolutions does help with that kind of thing um, I got a cool Christmas present which is a diary um, it's got like cool little cartoon um, comics in it which you know they are pretty funny little comics um, that yeah just go about your um, diaries and, and then give you little hints and, and things to do throughout the year like make notes and um, yeah normal diary stuff as well so it's really cool it's called the um tree house or clubhouse tree house um 2020 diary so if you want to check that out go check it out i recommend it it's really cool um if you're into diaries and things like that or that kind of uh thing some people do in their sketchbooks you know uh they keep like one sketchbook for the year and they just like doodle all year and then um they write dates they did things and uh, they write little notes you know I know one of my tutor did that tutor did one one of those things where she had, she had a really intensive kind of book and you know she would write dates and little notes every day and do drawings every day and like what meeting she was at you know the dates of the meeting and what meeting she was at while she's doing this drawing or just little doodles you know yeah, all this all this stuff which was really cool to see you know some people do this kind of stuff um and it, it is helpful you know some people do this kind of do that um for me i have my big book <laughs> um so you know this book i've been carrying around for about a couple of years now um i'm still filling it <laughs> it's it's quite big it's probably like uh, I think it was like 120 pages, um, double sided, or something like that. It's it's quite big, it's a thick book, um, of drawings. Um, it's normal kind of. It's like thin-ish paper, like yellow thin paper. So it's not you know the greatest drawing paper in the world, um, but it's good enough for me to doodle and draw. And and it's good too. It doesn't make me feel like it's got to be a a perfect drawing every time it just has to be kind of something um you know a drawing i've been doing these daily drawings at the moment that's been filling it up um doing like sketches for inktober that fills it up and just me naturally wanting to sketch all the time fills it up um and it is it is getting way too full you know i now i'm flipping through um, and doing all the back pages now, um, and yeah, I'm just doing all the back pages, drawing all the drawings in the back pages, trying to fill it up completely now, um, until, you know, I get a replacement one, um, and yeah, and then I start to, to fill that as well, uh, which will be fun, <laughs> it does, you know, it does take me a while, because I don't, you know, I do draw in it probably, I draw it, obviously now I draw in it at least four times a week, um, but, you know, I only, I usually about, uh, every, yeah, probably 20, half an hour each day-ish, uh, four days a week, around about, like two hours a week, I'd say, um, at max, um, and it's not, like, it's, it's, constant now because I made it constant um but it used to be you know up and down some weeks would be like five hours a week in it and the others are less than that so you know it's up and down but now that I've got that constant flow of making four drawings a day um yeah you know I think also 
another thing Christmas time is kind of a lazy period um it is you know I've done everything um and yeah I kind of just relax and spend time with family and stuff like that <laughs> I've missed out on um I think one drawing so far but that's okay you know um you know for my Instagram it's kind of slowed down a little bit uh, for this week because I didn't really get to do the, the drawing um, but you know uh, for drawing today and then I usually post um, images of the thumbnails for the YouTube videos so share those as well slowly get through sharing those um, you know day by day and I post those I try and post those as well <laughs> um, and yeah you know that's a re weekly routine um, kind of a thing uh, so I try my best to keep that up as well but yeah it does obviously being you know Christmas time it does make it a little bit challenging because you got things on um, places you're at doesn't it like have Wi-Fi or something so you can't like post stuff um, for this thing um, they do so you know they may be missing out and uh, same with going away or something it's like put your schedule off um, but yeah planning around it is always um, yeah always the way to do it as well I planned around this period of time um, of the Christmas time making the uh, two Christmas videos making the two um, weekly tips go along and uh, made them made sure they were quite smooth um, obviously you know I didn't stream on Friday night because this the stream was on Saturday night which is fine um, so usually that's the way you know but it's a day out this video which is fine I usually usually try on the to get it out by the Saturday morning this this stream but you know if the stream does come out on Saturday night at the latest um, you know I'm I'm still happy I'm, I'm fine with that as long as it comes out on the weekend it does happen and I've had a stream that has been you know Monday morning um, which yeah I'm fine with too but you know I try to make it those um, in those two days sometimes you know it's easy peasy to keep it on that Saturday um, at times it's not but you know it's it all depends too you know I've had times where I'm trying to get talking to a, an artist and things and the only available time is like a Sunday night or something um, so you know that it's not possible but eventually um, but yeah I get the video out at least as long as it's in that like 48 hour time period I'm usually pretty happy with it <laughs> I mean yeah um, what can you do you know it's it's what it is and I just try and keep it as best I can if I do slip and fail for those times um, there's usually good reason and it's yeah I usually get it out get those two videos out a week um, and yeah you know I'm you know this year I have kept up those two videos a week um, which is way more than I did last year uh, which is awesome and that's what I'm aiming for it I think um, with this year doing that has helped me both learn a bit more because I've been showing you guys weekly tips um, which has you know reinforced what I know and be like oh actually I could show you this or I've had one or two where I was like oh actually I don't know much about this why don't I learn it and then show you guys you know I've had one or two of those so it does you know have learned a little bit through that um, which has been helpful and show you guys things um, uh, and just you know my thought process and helped these videos as well you know I feel like these videos from this year have gone way better than they were last year um, you know there was a lot in you know the beginnings the last year and things like that there was a lot of like not knowing what to talk about um, 
ums and errs and being like, what do I say next? And um, kind of, yeah, it's, you know, all my stuff's kind of unscripted as far as I know. I mean, sometimes I do, it's pretty scripted, uh, but I don't like write it down or anything. I have had times where I've written it down and tried to make it pretty scripted, but it didn't really work, you know. Um, so yeah, I keep it and kind of just un really unscripted, you know. It just um I have questions obviously for the artist to answer, but from there I'm like I don't know where this is going. We usually just casually chat and then I bring in the the questions while we're chatting like casually rather than like being more interview based i kind of yeah i keep it um just kind of use the questions to keep the conversations going um i don't use the questions to kind of um build the whole video you know um kind of a thing and i've learned a lot about yeah this year and um my YouTube channel and keeping that running and then making it work and things like that. It's getting way better. It's it's looking like it's on its way up slowly. <laughs> um, so you know that's a positive. Um, yeah, and you can see me kind of do things differently here with my um, with my <laughs> Christmas painting here. You know, I used white to um, <laughs> define that line for that beam. Um, which was kind of the only color I could see. Um, I was like, I couldn't do black because it was too dark. Um, so I needed a light color. So I chose white and just did those two strips to make it straight. And, um, that has been a helpful tool to learn this year is just to hold shift and make things, you know, straight rather than trying to eye them up, um, and draw them straight. You know, really use the tools I do have to make them as physically straight as I can, um, if I need it to be straight, you know, because those little touches do make it a little bit more realistic, you know, rather than, um, looking like a kid's drawing or something like that, um, but yeah, you know, it, it does give it a boost, um, yeah, so, you know, hopefully you guys, yeah, have enjoyed that, that, uh, little break, if you've had a little break, some people might be off at the moment, you know, off for the next week or two. Um, I've only had, I've got the two days, um, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Did have yesterday as well uh, for Matt's wedding event. Um, and yeah, I've got um, two days next year for the, the New Year's and the New Year's um, the day after that. Uh, so, you know, New Year's and day after that, probably day off because most of us are having headaches from drinking too much. Um, and the day after that because you probably drank more the next morning. Um, or something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> I, you know, it, yeah, I get those two days off too. And then I'm going to have a couple of days off again for a whole week. <laughs> have a whole week off. Um. It's kind of my first full official week um, off without any other like precautions like having to look after sick children or something like that. Um, so yeah, in, in a while, you know, I haven't had that in a while. It's been since I joined the job in, you know, last year, February, or well, this year, February. Um, I've been yeah full time working and doing trying to keep this YouTube channel going. So having you know a few days, I have a few days to do a bit to do, catch up with a bit of painting here and there, um, in the next coming I mean, weeks, obviously. So that'll be awesome to to do. Um, I also have weekends, but there's other days uh, that I'm getting, so that will boost that, and hopefully you know that means I can push further and actually you know maybe I might in those two days might be able to finish kind of one piece that would get me like three videos ahead um and voila that would that would make it way easier to kind of keep up with things keep videos going but obviously that still means hard work because you know I've learned 
I, I have say, <laughs> if I do let go on one week or one day of pushing it and trying to get stuff done, um, just relax and, and do stuff and just kind of twiddle around and, uh, yeah, just kind of get distracted and things like that, um, for a couple, even a couple of days or so, um, then, you know, those three videos that I did make, um, just end up filling it, and then, you know, I haven't got anything on it, and I'm back, back to stage one, so, um, I think, yeah, just keep those three videos, <laughs> hopefully I can do it, um, or at least, you know, get close to that point where, um, I'm, you know, ahead of my game again, um, would be awesome, in that way, you know, it won't be so so stressful again, I won't get to this point with, with the stereo painting that I did, that, you know, was like, oh, I had to do something, um, to get it done, um, uh, obviously I had to leave some things unpolished, um, as polished as I like to make them, but it still looks good, you know, um, I'd like to polish them, <laughs> um, you know, next year painting, if I do have a tree in it, I'm hoping it's going to be way better than this tree. <laughs> like, so last year I had a Christmas tree. Um, I feel like this Christmas tree is better than last year's, but I still feel like it needs development. Um, and that's the thing, I don't have the time in the world to work on this painting because this is just a, you know, a side thing again. This is just um, a holiday special painting <laughs> so it's not involved in my big project uh, my book or any other project i'm working on um yeah and that's the other thing is getting the book together i need to do that um yeah i was hoping it would be finished by now but things up and go you know uh so you know but i'll get done <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, we're getting to the finish there. We're about thirty two minutes in. Yeah, yeah. So I did a pre Christmas stream, as you know. <laughs> so that's the black and white version of this basically. And this is the full colour version. Um so now you can see me kind of just tweaking the hell of it, putting highlights and trying to make things work together um as much as I can. Um, yeah, and there were some final little tweaks that I did, I was planning to actually, you know, come back and, and do it, you know, on the Monday night, I was like, oh, now I'm finished, you know, I was uh, happy with it, I was like, yeah, it's, it's finished, um, and I was like, oh, I can, you know, if I really, you know, find some time, I can come back on, like, Tuesday night and do something, I really need to, I can, but, um, or, you know, Thursday, Friday, at the latest, if, you know, if, if I really felt like I could, you know, add a little bit more to this piece, um, but, you know, I, I had to get together their New Year stream video, um, you know, I could have waited a little while, but, you know, giving three or four days, that, might be challenging, so I've got it done now, it's all done, so I've got that dusted, um, so, you know, I had to get that done as well, so I was like, oh, I need to get, it's more important for me to get this new year stream done, that way it's there and dusted, and I then, then I can get back to painting, and by that point, I was like, nah, I'm gonna leave that Christmas stream behind, because I've got to work on this project, this project, is important to me, unfortunately, the, uh, Hedgehog book that I'm creating, it definitely is important, <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I had to decide, and, you know, I can't work on this piece forever, so, that's what I did, once I'd done the New Year stream together, which took me longer than expected, um, because I had to find all the, the images that I needed for in a certain order as well, so I needed to get them all in a certain order, because usually on the New Year's stream, I have all my paintings I've done that year, 
um, and in kind of order that I'd done them in from kind of the first painting of the year to the Christmas painting usually is the last one um, you know if I'm sneaky sometimes I manage to get another one done after the Christmas stream but there's you know usually stuff all time so usually not um, maybe one year when I've got like heaps of time during that period that I might actually get a painting done just after the Christmas stream um, if we're lucky but you know I'll, we'll see <laughs> one year um, but yeah you know I still uh, could do that <laughs> but yeah I, I had to do that new stream uh, so I can continue painting on that book um, that's what I did and that's yeah I'm back on track I got this stream out of the way I've got next week's uh, stream out of the way so I can just you know do the stream on Tuesday night due to the New Year stream on New Year's Eve um, yeah and just post that on the Saturday that Saturday uh, I've got to I still got to do the weekly tips this weekend um, but that's all right um, I know next weekend um, I've got to, or well, this weekend, we'll see, um, we've got to do, like, I've got to get two weekly tips, um, out, so I've got to do a Wednesday, next, I've got next week's weekly tips, and then I've got to get the weekly tips for the week after that, sussed. um, so everything runs smoothly, um, and everything like that, as well as planned, for the next, um, I need to get another, um, stream underway as well, I've got the New Year stream obviously coming out, but I've got things on the weekend after, because I've got things to do that weekend going away and stuff like that, so I do need to, you know, do a video on that weekend, I've got to get that sussed. Um, so yeah, I've, uh, you know, I know, you know, what is priorities for it, um, since I've been doing it a while, I know I've got to keep these two videos out, so I know, like, if I keep on, you know, keep on working on this Yoda painting, um, on the, the Thursday slash Friday, it would push those things away a little bit further, making it a little bit more struggling and uh yeah pushing a bit of those those things away a little bit yeah making it struggling to get through um not being able to breathe again <laughs> so it's always good to have that uh, little breathing room um so yeah we uh, if i could i'll give myself a little bit more breathing room for this painting it would be awesome to to add a little bit more to it but I can't for all my paintings um obviously some have deadlines and, and that's the thing with um client work and, and things like that you not gonna always have breathing room um and things like that you gotta have to keep creating it and just try and get it finished um obviously there's gonna be things um that you may have to let go like you may like in some pieces that you create you may have to simplify something or just um, decide to leave in a few elements out an element that may take you a while like um, for instance um, if I was really like oh, I don't really have much time for this I could have like had just kind of a close-up shot a more close-up shot of the baby Yoda um, and just kind of part of the tree and stuff like that um, and gone away with it, but I get I knew I had a little bit of time, so I wanted to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, and I just keep painting and keep going on with it, um, and that's what I ended up with. Yeah, thanks for coming along. If you did come along, I really do appreciate it. Whether it was for just the pre-Christmas stream or this stream as well, or both, I uh, really do appreciate it. I really do, you know, wish everyone a jolly Christmas. That's been um, awesome this year. Um, had a few awesome gifts. Had plenty of chocolate, um, as I usually do every year. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to 
the new year, doing the new year stream and, and getting the new year underway. Um, and that is pretty much my final piece for the Christmas. Um, and this means, you know, Christmas is officially over. You know, it's officially finished the Christmas period. Um, for me at least, you know, some people um, have the whole Christmas kind of period as the whole, whole holidays of the season, not being at school and stuff like that. But, you know, for me at the moment, it is, you know, the two, two three days, that, the two days, that, that's the, the period. Um, for me, is over with for the year. Um, so thanks everyone for joining um, me in this uh, very happy streaming experience whether you you know just came along today or just um you, you have seen my other videos i really do appreciate it please do feel free to subscribe because um you know it's awesome to have you guys listen to me and have comment and things like that it's great um it does you know encourage me to keep going keep these videos um underway and things like that so Everyone keep safe, um, enjoy the rest of the holidays if you've got any more holidays. Um, and yeah, we'll see you, you know, in the next video. It's the last video of the year, which will be, uh, well, this will be the last video of the year. Um, there'll be the New Year stream that will come out next year. So yeah, there'll be the last video of the year. So hopefully you enjoyed it. See you in the next year. Goodbye.